2250 DS Winnebago Mini here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. New floor plan at the time of this filming comes in at 4,800 pounds. And I think it's one of the very best couples models they've ever built. And you may know it's a little bit of snow flurries. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a balmy, like, like two degrees today. Um, thankfully, you're probably at home, you know, where it's warm or you're on your phone in your car or something. Hopefully you're not driving and, uh, you know, you're, you're not dealing with the cold. Uh, you know, the good news is though, I, I still have feeling in some of my fingertips. <laughs> Frostbite jokes, classic. Anyway, we've got a full front pass through storage. We've got all the construction you expect out of the Winnebago's. We've got the uh, aluminum structure, laminated walls, aluminum frame floor, plywood floor decking, five inch roof trusses with a three eighths walkable deck. You know, normal construction out of these. It's, it's pretty, Familiar construction for the ultralight business. Um, you know, it's it's not terribly different from a lot of things you see out there, but it's it's just the fact it's not the playbook, guys. It's the execution, and Winnebago is proving itself to be one of the very least problematic brands out there. Basically, when we sell them to you, they stay in your driveway. They just don't come back. They just don't. There's a lot of little reasons for that, and I truly believe. Oh, by the way, if any point. Uh, you'd like to know things like price tag or uh, you want to see what we have in stock and how it's equipped because it could look or be equipped drastically differently from what we have here. I leave you a link in the video description if you're just on YouTube or whatever that says check for price and availability. You're one click away from important questions like length and tank capacities and price tag and all that stuff. So you may have noticed my, this is my personal favorite, is that just beautiful blueberry exterior on here. I love that, that deep, rich, gorgeous blue. It is so sharp. You know, the other thing I like about it is it's very, uh, actually what's interesting is blue is one of the colors that the human eye picks up on last. Uh, what that means in English is that, you know, it's just, uh, you're less likely to have people rubbernecking on the road around you and people tend to focus on driving and not your trailer and uh, it just tends to be safer. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be a drastic thing, but there's a reason blue cars cost less to insure than red cars. Um, funny enough, Winnebago also makes a red skin. So right there, we're talking some drastic differences. They could have red, blue, yellow. There's like seven different ex uh, exterior color packages available on this. Um, and they're about the only brand that gives you multiple exterior. They actually give you more exterior colors than interior colors. That's what's kind of funny about this. Um, but back to the quality and reliability. If you want a strong house, you start with a strong foundation, right? Everybody knows that. You start from the bottom up. That's why they build on a little different chassis. This is a, a NXG frame by Bell. Long story short, it's not a traditional I-beam frame, which there's nothing wrong with, by the way. The difference here is that uh, this is lighter and stronger. It's built sort of like an aircraft chassis. You ever notice how you keep hearing these pilots like, yeah, I fly a uh, 1954 Cessna. And you're like, a 54? They're like, yeah, it's in amazing condition. You're like, oh, wow. Well, it's because they, it starts on a good chassis. And that's kind of the concept here. Um, the, uh, the updated decal package, I would normally mention this as a late 2017 edition, but um, there was no early 2017 version of the 2250 out there. Uh, but the, the graphics package they have going on the decals are just spot on. So let's talk fiberglass because Winnebago is using literally the highest grade of fiber class uh, in the entire towable RV market, and they're doing it in a small camper segment where literally no one else is using anything within two grades of this. Because there's, <clears throat> there's Phylon, there's high gloss, there's gel coated, and then there's true gel coat. And this is true gel coat. These guys are just absolutely unrivaled in this respect. Absolutely the highest grade fiberglass out there. Um, there's some serious advantages here beyond just the obvious gorgeous cosmetics. It's got higher reflectivity. Uh, that means uh, not just, you know, you can see, it's it's so clear you can literally read the word Winnebago backwards, albeit, uh, but like a mirror. It's that kind of polish. Um, it also will reflect more ultraviolet light. So it's going to be far, far less susceptible to like chalking and weathering. It's easier to clean. Also, God forbid the neighbor kid throws a stick or something and scratches it. You can buff that out of gel coat. You can't necessarily, well, you can buff a Phylon, but you're always gonna know you did it. Um, 
Aluminum wheel package, standard on these. Anything that's really important is standard. And in this glass, you get a lot of double entry steps. I like that they stuck with the triple here with the uh, bigger grab handle. It's just very easy come and go. Like if you've got a little hitch in your giddy up, you got some reduced mobility. It's a good floor plan for that. And you see this big power awning. They couldn't have put a bigger one on. Maximum size power awning, easy tilt adjustment with full length LED lighting. So the bit, the LED lighting will, you'll get extra patio light on this because of the nature of the reflectivity of this sidewall. There's, there's like, you know how sometimes uh, like sleeping pills, they're actually allergy pills, but the side effect is it knocks you out. Kind of like that. The side effect of this gorgeous skin is that you've got better visibility at night for more light. I'm gonna swap my battery out because it's blinking at me here and I don't wanna get halfway through a tour and have it drop out on me. So we'll pick this back up on the inside and stay tuned. Actually, you're not even gonna notice the difference. <laughs> All right, we are back. So this is the 2250 interior. And it's not unlike a floor plan they had previously. You might look at this and say, boy, this looks awful familiar. They, they actually kind of built this camper previously, but where at the foot of the bed, they had an island entertainment center. And it made the floor plan look blocky and small and awkward. Well, they removed that, which opens up the floor plan, and that allowed them to put a little bit bigger slide in here for a bigger dinette. And then it also allowed for this really cool elevated bar, which is perfect for like bar stools or chairs or something over here. So by removing that uh, one thing, they made the RV look and feel totally different, even though it's really not significantly different from what they had in the past. Um, let's uh, start from the, oh, real quick. I mentioned on the outside, but I'll mention it again. If you like everything this, like, except these pillows, don't have a heart attack. We probably got a different one in stock. This is called the Stone Decor. At the time of this filming, there's also granite and there's, uh, or pardon me, not granite, graphite and cobblestone. Um, they're all some various form of neutral, natural, earth tonish thing. Earth to Tony, earth Tony. Um, but uh, starting from the top down. We've got, I mentioned outside that walk-on roof, and you may have noticed immediately the much brighter, lighter interior decor in here. That is something that makes this camper feel so much bigger than something than, than another 24-footer. It just feels bigger. Also, take a look at, um, one, lots of windows. Two, all the windows open, but three oversized bedroom windows here to give you just some awesome light and airflow. That is, all of that adds up to make this thing look and feel really big. I also love all the little touches, like the little radius work on the dinette base. And you see how Winnebago straps the table down? You don't really have to do that to keep it from bouncing around in transit, but they do it because there's a chance something could bounce around in transit. And they do everything they can to eliminate every potential human error, you know? That's what I like about this. That's why we don't have Winnebago problems, because they're even worried about the tabletop vibrating and coming loose in transit. Imagine the stuff they're doing that you can't see. They're already doing something no one else does right here. It The, the list just keeps going. So, a little camper like this, you probably don't need central air, but they did it anyway, because it's awesome. They've got a very nice LED light package in here. As you can see, between the lighter wood tones, the big windows, and the good lighting, it brightens right up. You may have noticed too, absolutely no carpet. Um, there are some trailers out there, we carry a couple, and I understand why they do it, but there are some trailers out there that have a carpetless main deck, but have carpet in the slide out. And you'll see we have no carpet here. Easy cleaning, easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Um, also, easy walk around bed. You've got that nice, again, all those lights and windows, it really brightens, opens up in there. You've got symmetrical his and hers side stands and wardrobes, so each person has a place to uh, plug in like a breathing machine or phone chargers, all that good stuff. And when they moved the entertainment center from the island and put it here in the kitchen, they did two things. First of all, the TV would be at a better spot for viewing from the dinette anyway if it was flat mounted on the wall. But obviously it's not flat mounted on the wall, it's on a fifth wheel grade double swing arm. And what that allows you to do is that TV can comfortably face the bed, it, frankly, I think you could sit on the toilet and watch TV in this thing. I'm going to check. <laughs> you can't. You can literally sit on the toilet and watch TV. It's the first of its kind, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's literally a whole house television. <laughs> That's so awesome. I've never had one that actually could be viewed from the bathroom before. So this is begging you. 
to put in um, like a couple bar stools or something over here. But frankly, it's nice to have like an open little area. You could uh, turn that with some like command strips into like a, uh, a little, I don't know, coat rack or just, you know, um, any, any little thing like those uh, space saving like shelf units you can get at Walmart or Target real cheap. You could, you could convert this into storage or an elevated kitchen bar, anything you wanted. It, it could be a lot of different things. Um, Man, and again, you know, this can just, it, this can whip right around anywhere you want that it's got a double jointed arm, so you can really make it face some funny angles. Like, you can make it face, like, you know, right at the bed if you wanted to. Told you it's cold. I got my little finger mittens here. Um, all in one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. Pretty normal nowadays. I do like, though, that they're using Jensen Electronics, and the reason I mention that is Jensen is built for the RV industry. I noticed many years ago, manufacturers, when they first started, like, well, our trailer includes a TV in a free package. Well, it was always this cheap, off-brand television. And the, TV, the campers that came with Jensen stuff never failed. We never had Jensen problems, and we still really don't. You'll notice, again, quality and construction, all plywood box drawers that fully extend, not particle board with a press wrap. So uh, you've got one, two, three of those right there. Nice space uh, down here for extra pots and pans, and that actually uh, sneaks around all the way through. Now, here's the cool thing. Whenever you see countertop space, that means you've got storage. This floor plan has a really good kitchen. This little rear bathroom couples camper has a kitchen that frankly rivals a rear kitchen um, uh, bigger model. This has literally more kitchen and countertop space than the 24 foot rear kitchen Winnebago. So if you're looking for a good kitchen and a little camper, this is actually the one you want to look at, strangely enough. And it doesn't stop. All this huge storage, it continues over here. You've got a monster closet by the rear entry door. And this thing, it's so big. I looked at it and I honestly wondered, did they mean to put the refrigerator there and then put the fridge over here instead? Because I'm not so sure it couldn't fit a refrigerator. If not, it is darn close. It is a truck load of storage. I like the backsplash they had back here too at the late 17 updates. That's nice. Um, porcelain foot flush stool with plenty of leg room. And, uh, you know, you can stand in here and get dressed when you actually get out of the shower. And it is a real shower, not a little... Uh, you know, cheap travel trailer, plastic tub or shower pan. This is this is a, a lot nicer. And you'll notice that even in here, we've still got stainless sinks. And even with my gloves on, you can still get your hands in here. There's plenty of room in there. Um, you know, I don't even have all the lights on in here, and it's still plenty bright, probably because we have both a skylight and a power vent fan. I also like the fact that you've got a handy little light switch down here. So if the grandkids are sleeping on that u dinette, they can actually reach it. And it's those little attention to detail things, like a light switch the grandkids can reach. That's the Winnebago difference, guys. Uh, most brands are okay. But there's good, and then there's better. And then there's really exceptionally great. And I really feel that's what we're looking at here. So, um, you know, if you agree with us, if you uh, you like what you've seen here, all I ask is the opportunity to earn your business here at our dealership. Uh, we're one click away, or we're one call away, because God forbid we actually reach out and speak, speak to a living, breathing human being nowadays. You know, you can't buy everything on Amazon.com, and I'm thankful for it. I think every now and then it is good to remember the human element involved in this. And uh, it's, it's focusing on people like yourselves that you know shape these trailers so don't forget that there's there's other people involved in the mix and we look forward to the opportunity to earn in your business so whether it's hitches pieces parts trades financing accessories or truck and trailer package deals we do everything here and uh we are halid rv of coldwater michigan look forward to meeting you 800-256-5196 halid rv take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone